Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's another episode of the Shrewsbury Town Road to Glory career mode and well to be honest with you we're flying at the moment not just in the Champions League we're thriving in our first time in the competition not just the fact that we're absolutely killing it in the league it's tight don't get me wrong but we're, I know we're going to absolutely smash you but the fact that Mr Hawk has won manager of the year oh just look at the goal by Femi Shang Long, oh him and his missus seeming stay away and yeah I won manager of the year it's all looking good and it all started with this club Shrewsbury Town I'm hoping to end it with Shrewsbury Town as well with the squad how it is at the moment things are looking on the positive right here big thumbs up from your boy right here defensive solid seaman being seaman midfield great wingers Teddy Lewis is absolutely shining and up forwards, as long as they keep themselves onside, I think we've got no problems whatsoever. But we do also have 41 million in the bank. That's quite a lot. I can't really just go a whole transfer window without spending that amount of money, right? Well, it started off with a left back because De Silva, I don't get me wrong, he's decent. But he's too weak on the ball. The amount of times he gets tackled, it's irate. So we brought in a Scotsman. Barry Donald over there, you know the Scots are good with their fullbacks as he joined Shrewsbury Town. Then afterwards I had this offer from Cissé as he wasn't getting much game time and I don't blame him. So he was off. So a new striker had to come in. And just to give a little bit of nerves, Domian and Obafemi, I spent £31 million on Shrewsbury's newest striker representing the blue, red and white. It's only Florin Balogun joining Shrewsbury Town as well. And also, I also signed Anamana Luckman on a pre-contract as well. Because, why not? So, there are my two crucial signings going into the squad. Balogun is going to start on the, on the bench. But don't get me wrong. If either Obafemi or Domian does not perform well. Or keep getting themselves offside. Then Balogun will have no problem taking them up in the starting position but let's see how that goes in the season ahead in the champions league as well as at the premier league title fights as well let's move on to the match highlights we begin these match highlights traveling to london against arsenal i would say this would be a tough fixture but the matter of fact is we've already beaten arsenal but that was at the new meadow instead at the emirates and to be fair my strikers definitely did hear my warning because earlier on again domi out keeping himself odd side making it 1-0 to Shrewsbury Town. The referee was still being a pain, being on their side, but if Saka's effort's going to be like that, I, all I can say is just keep bringing it. Domian wanted to try a bit of luck. How about from range? The keeper said not today. But I like him being more like a fox in a box. Give him the keys to the chicken coop, and this is what he does. Punish defenders, slots it in 2-0. And he was so close, in fact, for his hat trip, but missed the shot completely. But at least he was making an effort, unlike Obafemi, as he came off for Florin Barrigan to make his debut. And what a debut he had, as he sent through Teddy Lewis, the Mohawk Strewn, to make it 3-0 to Shrewsbury Town. Arsenal fans are in absolute shock, as Balogun, their former player, set up another assist for Domian's hat-trick. Impressive win in the Premier League. But we're going to remain in London, and more importantly at Wembley. Yes, it's the Carabao Cup Finals. That's what I was going to say, but instead we're going to fight it out for the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, I know. So I wanted an early start off, like before, but instead a travesty of a tackle from Timber right here. And I can't believe that he saw red card, the quickest red card in history. 39 seconds that lasted. That's what she said. <laughs> That's the exact amount of times than your ex would last in bed. Seriously. So if a man advantage, this should be a one-sided game. But oh no, this story took a complete different twist. As a slight tackle gave their striker a golden opportunity. The golden ticket, in fact. And they took it. Crystal Palace lead 1-0 in the finals. But really, I wasn't that worried at all because with the extra man, we saw the opportunity or saw the gaps in their defence. Teddy spotted Obafemi, Obafemi with the equaliser. And then yet again, he Domian sent through Obafemi with his pace. The Irishman could not be stopped. 
and afterwards all things end in three and Obafemi agreed and he got himself a hat trick as we secured the Ballon d'Or, I mean Carabao Cup. But we're moving on from that to the Champions League round of 16 as we had the Ukrainian side Shakhtar Donetsk. Well, we were already 3-0 up and coming into the new meadow, all that there was left to do was finish them off. And Obafemi had no problem kicking them when they're down and of course delivering more pain for the defeated side. It had to be the Ukrainian to strike against the Ukrainian team, sending us through to the quarterfinals. We returned to Premier League action as we hosted Manchester United at the New Meadow. We got ourselves a corner early on. Could have been to Captain China, but denied thanks to the crossbar. As I was scratching my head, next thing you know it, Teddy played across to Obafemi to Domian. Oh boy, he's able to keep himself on side. Or oh, maybe he would have gotten rid of this terrible rut and been able to continue scoring good goals. Nope, he's still getting offside again. But that was only a blimper, to be honest, because Domian, he was striking against the Red Devils. Just call him an exorcist. Oh, my brother testify. While Lewis was looking for goal number three. And oh, my God, almost caught Onana off his line. And the only way we're going to get a number three was from a corner. And you know who's going to score. The Premier League's greatest ever Chinese player. Shang Long makes it 3-0 as the captain waves us into victory. But I wanted four, and you know damn right why I wanted four. And of course, off the bench, it was Zach Lovelace to deliver for revenge over the FA Cup finals. Okay, I may have gone a little bit overboard, like American star, because Balogun, just in the 90th minute, makes it 5-0 against Manchester United. Because next in the Premier League, it's one of the big tests. Chelsea up there in the triple threat fight for the Premier League trophy away at Stamford Bridge. As it seemed tough on paper, it was into Voroshin who's in the centre of the box, strikes it top corner as the Ukrainian gives Shrewsbury Town's hope we can regain our Premier League trophy. Domial's effort I thought got saved but turns out to be offside, but this offside it turned out to be an infection as Obafemi got offside as well. Is anyone here at Stamford Bridge a doctor? Don't touch me, I'm sterile. And of course I need to worry because Metallus Tills over here was broken through and Shanglon made the sacrifice he had to do. Takes him out and it's a red card. And we were down to 10 players and there was still a second half to go. So the task was to survive because Chelsea were like sharks. They smelled blood in the war. We were a man down, a leader down and they were pummeling us the beginning and all I was doing was looking for that final full-time whistle but next thing you know it we had the ball golden opportunity Zach sent through Tommy Ann to secure the game he definitely has a huge win for Shrewsbury Town over Chelsea they could have had it in the palm of their hand but they scuffed it as we take good eyes on the Premier League trophy but this isn't going to be the first time we face Chelsea in these highlights as we face them in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. A pressure game as one team will be secure in semi-finals. As we lead 2-1, still pressure was at a fever's point. Domian sent through but couldn't double our lead. Up the other end, Seaman was denying an equaliser for the Royal Blues. But someone was going to crack under this pressure. As you see, Dabriel on the ball, a slunge in light tackle from Diallo, and the referee thinks that was a red card challenge. And uh, trying to stop Trump from getting himself into further trouble. Personally, I don't think that was a sending off. And we took pure advantage of the extra man, unlike Chelsea. As into the second half, we sent through Obafemi, who scores in the Champions League quarterfinals, only doubling our lead. And what a way to seal semi-finals for the Shrooms as he crossed into an overhead kick from Domiao. Scenes are unbelievable. Just like Cristiano Ronaldo v Juventus, Domiao with a stunner. Absolutely stunned the Royal Blues as it sends Shrewsbury Town to a semi-finals. The greatest club competition in the world. The Champions League is just a matter of seconds away as we take on Manchester City. 
Well, they've already won the Champions League, and to be honest with you, they've got a bone to pick with us. We've been embarrassing them left, right and centre, from beating them from the Carabao Cup semi-finals, to beating them in the league, and also beating them for the Premier League trophy itself. Man City have got a real bone to pick with us. So at the New Meadow, we may be a goal up, but Man City are out for blood. For me, I'm hoping that we can do it over Manchester City, sending the shrooms which could be the greatest final in our history. But all it waits is 90 minutes of football. Come on, you shrooms. Let's do it the new meadow. Mateos plays it across. We can see Gabriel for Olsham. Edge of the wing right here, but he's trying to find the space. Plays it across. Teddy Lewis, what a through ball. Oh, come on. That was too close, in fact. Domian could have increased our lead. Gabriel. Holds it across into Alex Mateos, then plays to Teddy Lewis, over the top, through ball, up a Femi, oh! Man City are buckling under the pressure as the Shrooms are looking for a second. Man City in a good position to cross, plays it 1-2 to the bound door, and now into Gavi. Gavi into the box, twist, Harlan wins the ball off me again, plays it across into O'Reilly, plays it back to Phil Foden, in the space to shoot, but Dennis Seaman denies them for an equaliser. And Omar's lost his man as Gavi has been sent through on the wing. Turns him completely inside like a pretzel over the top through ball. Harland is onside. He wins the ball back off me. O'Reilly shoots. What a save from the German. You can touch the tension with a knife. It's that thick. And you can see Lewis, edge of the box, doing his magic to the shoot. It's a Domian is onside. He is onside. It's 2-0 to Shrewsbury Town. Oh my god, how is he able to keep him side? Lewis with the mohawk, done the work, get the shot, it's saved. But Domian was there, the right time, the right place, onside, as he's doubled the lead to Shrewsbury Town. Into the second half now, and Man City, I don't know what Pep would have said to him, but Gavi plays it back, 1 2 right here. Lovely football, Erling Haaland, will he be able to score against us? It's go, oh no, it's going to cross to Phil Foden, who shoots their post and scores. Back to the beginning as Man City pull one back and they need one more away for an equaliser. And for Rolsham, lovely control of the ball, plays it across to Alex Mateos, plays it back, Obafemi turns the defender, oh, just a block away. Literally another goal for us, the insurance is definitely needed. Corner whipped in, can we find it? Oh no, we can find the big Chinese now. Heads it back, now it's headed back down. Into Omar, controls the ball, lovely, it could whip it in, but we're going to play it safe right here, we don't want to lose the ball. Donald, plays it into Obafemi, Obafemi turns, finds Domial, breaks the defender, breaks Man City hearts! All oh, Man City fans will be absolutely crying in their dollar bills right here, they couldn't see it coming, as we worked our time patiently, patiently we were going to break the doors. We're back to two goals ahead over the citizens. Now Man City are trying their best to get themselves back in. They're shaken. They're absolutely rattled right here. They're trailing yet again to Shrewsbury Town. What a tackle from Lewis. Obafemi through balls it. Domian for the hatchet gets the kid. Oh, they've just fallen apart before my very eyes. And who would have thought little old Shrewsbury Town? Domian will leave with a match ball and pretty much a Champions League finals for the Shrooms. Over the top, Balogun. Lovely touch from him now. And we're going to play across to Lewis. Lewis going to go for a shot. He came this close against Manchester United and could have done the same for against Man City. Back in, Balogun got two defenders around him. Slide tackle. Mateo still wins the ball. Plays it across Lewis into Balogun. Balogun over the top. Domian makes it four. Oh, what a shot. That was so quick. Quicker than the speed of light, but the post is still rattling to this day. Ali on the ball. Loses it. Man City going to go for attack. Erlen Haaland just to hit one against us. Denied thanks to Dennis Seaman. Full time goes. And just like Haaland's record against us, it is absolutely nothing. Because yes, to on this day, Shrewsbury Town has secured... The greatest reward, Champions League finals in their first attempt, beating Manchester City to a pulp. So we'll get back to the Champions League finals in the next live game. But today, it's really crucial here in the Premier League title fight. So Chelsea have been knocked out of the race. There's one team out of the way. It goes to the last game of the season between yours truly 
and Manchester City. So here it stands. We've got 83 points. Two points clear over Manchester City who are on 81 points. So it comes to the last game of the season. We've got a win against West Ham United to secure the title for yet again for Shrewsbury Town. And Man City have got Leicester City. It doesn't matter about their result. We need to get the job done here at the London Stadium filled with these annoying bubbles. And Shrewsbury Town will be crowned Premier League champions twice in a row. As Alex Mateos plays across the party boy Lewis. Uh, could see the pass right here, but goes by himself. Dukes him. Oh, trying to find the pass. Domian plays it across to Verolstrom for close range and misses the ball completely. Gabriel plays it to Mateos. Now into Verolstrom. Oh, trying to turn the defenders around. Back into Alex Mateos. We've got to get the first goal. Oh, but Femi strikes it. Saved. Very unlikely to be honest with you. As we're desperate for the first goal. Gabriel yet again. Let's go for it. Into Lewis. Lewis. Uh, let's see. There we go. Play across to Alex Mateos. Who can score from screen. It's denied to the crossbow. It's headed away. Now into Lewis. Lewis through balls to Alba Femi. We've been so, so dominant in this first half. We need to reward ourselves with a goal. Mateos back into Domian. Tricks the defenders. It's 1-0. It was coming, it was coming indeed. Before it hits 20 minutes on the clock, Domian puts the shrooms ahead. Borosian edge of the box, through ball at Domian. Controls the ball right here, plays across to Alex Mateos. Now it's into Gabriel. Gabriel into Lewis, over the top, through ball. Oba Femi, come on, yes! Beautiful word football from the shrooms. Lovely pass and finished up with an over top delight. Which the Irishman certainly gobbled up. Uh, Man West Ham trying their best right here. I almost said Man City, to be honest with you. Their lackluster attack. And I could eat my word right here. Hernandez! Oh, from close range, could have done better. Dribble inside the box. And it's 1 2. West Ham on the attack. Goes for a curler. Seaman denies. Okay, let's not do that. West Ham with probably their closest chance of getting back in this game. And that was too close. Over the top through ball. And Albert Femi's managed to win. Could he secure another one? He misses the target complete. That would be desperately needed before the half. Um, West Ham trying to kick off the second half. These bubbles are bloody everywhere. You can get into a poor guy's eye right here. It's Hernandez in the box. It's saved. Rebound saved again. A third one goes in. Oh, Seaman was doing his best right here. I think the bubbles may have gotten his eyes. But you know what? If goalkeeper's doing all the work here. The defenders is not doing nothing. And things could be really shaking up here in the title fight. And you can see West Ham have broken through yet again. They've been the better side this second half. I guess we don't want them to equalise us. This will be real jeopardising in our title fight. Girls, it what a block from Bach. And that was so close to going in. Through balls, Vorosham on the edge of the wing right here. Turns back, come and find someone into Alex Mateos, then into Lewis. Lewis from range, but said Fox or Femi can I? Oh, I needed that. I desperately needed that goal to go in. Now, West Ham are waiting. They're biding their time right here. And I'm scared every bloody second right here. As they could be really deadly as Hernandez again. Block thanks to Barker. Great defending from him. All right, West Ham got offside. 89 minutes, how many added on times? Two minutes, all right, we can do it. Just lasting two minutes long to secure another Premier League trophy for Shrewsbury Town. Obafemi with the work, gets tackled last second. There's only 20 seconds left on the clock. You come on, referee, blow the whistle. Over the top through ball, West Ham heads it back down and thinks that is enough securing Shrewsbury Town. Second Premier League title in a row. Oh, thank goodness for that. It was close. West Ham deserved an equaliser, but the tough defence at the back. Dennis Seaman being, well, Dennis Seaman got us the win. And, well, this whole squad has secured us yet again another Premier League trophy. As Shang Lo being the first Chinese man to lift up the greatest trophy in all of the land. It's glorious. It's a huge success getting the trophy, proving that we're not a season fluke, but we're still moving on to the, probably the greatest and most toughest challenge in all of our eight seasons the with Champions the Shrooms. League finals is set in date. We will be taking on Barcelona. 
Oh, God. <laughs> well, you know my luck when it comes to finals. It's a very, very negative tray. Uh, we can talk about the FA Cup finals, but all day long, especially those big games against better teams. But Shrewsbury Town, we did the odds. We did the unthinkable. Time after time after time again. Why not do it one more time in the Champions League finals? Now, before we kick this game off, I did have a look at their squad and look who's starting for them. Tommy Dalton. Oh, boy, this will be absolutely heartbreaking if he had to get the winning goal for Barcelona. He's turned into their main man. But don't you forget, it was Shrewsbury Town where you were made. But now it's the San Siro host the Champions League for... Oh, for fuck's sake! Are you fucking for real, here? No, I'm having this round other way. How about an update to fix the game? No, you made an update to ruin the game because instead of playing for the greatest trophy of them all, we're fighting out for the... Ballon d'Or fucking trophy. Stupid pieces of sh Oh, I hope this doesn't negative my mood in the Champions League finals. Come on, you shrooms. Oh, it's already negative my mood. Walsham on the edge of the wing right here. Three balls. It's not, not a good three ball. It's Boston were able to intercept it. Play back for them. Oh, it's an interception. As Teddy Lewis going into the edge of the box. I see an unmarked Argentini and it ends up in the lead. It's a terrible, terrible mistake from Barcelona in the Champions League finals as Shrewsbury Town absolutely gobbled it up and Domian, our Argentinian, puts us in the lead. It's 1-0 Shrewsbury Town, just three minutes on the clock. Barcelona get tackled and now into the Argentine winger. Gets intercepted now. Let's play it. Come on. Nice and easy. Shang Long plays it across to Farolsham trying to find an over the top root ball oh no what a ball into Dormian lovely work right here sports Teddy the Mohawk King oh it's got over I think a deflection took his way 2-0 in under 20 minutes will be a dream start for Shrewsbury Town corner let's whip it in to Shang Long oh it's just over so so close to doubling our lead Shang Long back into Gabriel now into Farolsham Trying to find out. Look at that. Over the top. Through ball. Barcelona kept him on side. Oh, yeah, beauty. It's 2-0 to the Shrooms. Remember what I said to him last season. If he was able to keep himself on side, he would have been the next Sergio Aguero. Well, guess what? He's so close to winning the Champions League finals. Unlike Sergio Aguero has ever achieved. As we see Bronco. Oh, I'm trying to do the work right here. Back into... Barcelona man now, getting so close, gets a shot and ooh. here's Barcelona's first attempt on goal and it's deadly but a good save from Seaman. Tackle, Cole Palmer trying to get through and now into that man himself as Dalton tried to get past Barker. Oh gosh, what a through ball, not like this, not like this, he couldn't beat him. Oh my god, but they still want the ball and Dennis Seaman with a double save. Big save in the big finals as Barcelona desperately trying to make a change. And we well, could all good being 2 0 up here, but literally Barcelona was so close to get one back. Domian's going to test one from range. The Barcelona keeper saves it and over. Barcelona got a goal kick, playing at 1 2 short right here. Yes, traditional tiki taka style, but will it do anything against the counter attack and shrooms? As you can see, Lewis. From range, it gets saved. Ball's up in the air. Can we win it? Yes. Dalton could not be beaten. As you can see, Omar plays it across to Mateos. Now into Kamara. Over the top through ball for Domiel's hat trick. Oh, he's offside. Oh, so close for a Champions League hat trick, but Domiel denied. As now dribbled 1 2 right here. Through balled it. Now Barker couldn't do nothing to it. Barcelona kept through. Tommy Dalton with range. He makes it 2 1. Not celebrating, grabbing the ball, getting it on the spot. As the former Shrewsbury Town player put Barcelona one way of getting a comeback rolling. We're settling things quite nicely right here, but it all changed thanks to the Dalton goal. Can we change that right here? Gabriel into Lewis. Spotting on side. American salute to you, good sir. Bell again who he brought from January. And he cost me 31 million. And I know he gets the job done for me. As he's done it today off the bench. Scoring. 
could be securing us the Champions League finals. Barcelona on the wing right here. We've only got one minute left to do anything. Over the head kick, it goes in. But sadly, Dalton suffers the offside curse as the flag is up. Only got 20 seconds left. It's gone down to the itty bitty, and it's full time. The journey of Shoes Retown ends in victorious, as in the Champions League finals against Barcelona. We got the job done. We were able to achieve so much here with the shrooms. And we managed to do... Oh, fuck. There's not even a trophy. <sighs> Bit annoyed about that. But no matter what, we'll go down in history. Becoming Champions League winners. Even though this game still wants to deny us the glorious moment. Let's go to the top goal scorers of this season. Domial. 35 goals, 21 for Oberfemi, 17 for Lovelace, 8, 16 for Verosham and 13 for Teddy Lewis. Most assists is actually Oberfemi with 17, 14 for Verosham, 13 then for Teddy Lewis. So folks, we did it again, that's all I can say. Not the fact that we won the Premier League, not the fact that Shrewsbury Town have become history makers winning the Champions League for the very first attempt. But the matter of the fact that this will be our second season treble winners. Boys, what can I say? So let's go to the play of the season. I'm actually going to give it to the Argentine striker Domian. I honestly thought my original plan was to sell him and bring back Tommy Dalton. And look how well that paid off. Because Tommy Dalton will be runners up in the Champions League while he, scoring a brace in the finals himself, will be lifting the trophy. But as soon as he's able to get onside, this guy was lethal for us. So I just want to go back to the squad again because this has been such an incredible journey for the Shrooms. And I just want to do it by comparing the two squads right here. Look at the squad change where you had right here. Different formation, yes. But the tactics still remain the same. From simple beginnings in League One. From failing to win an FA Cup. To becoming treble winners. Not once, but twice. But that is where we say goodbye to the Shrooms. Now I could have one more attempt. And try and win the Champions League. But EA will tempt to ruin it again by not even showing the trophy. But I think this is a good way to end it for the Shrooms after eight long seasons. Because there's more challenges away. There's still more clubs that Mr. Hawk wants to give success to. And for Shrooms Return, all I can say is thank you. And also thank you ever so much for watching this episode, this series completely. There will be goal of the seasons at the end. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you have the whole journey. Put down your comments, your player, the whole competition. Honestly, there's one person that comes to mind, but I want to hear what your people think. Subscribe for the channel. We've got more career mode coming up, and I'll see you beautiful people later.